You know, in just a matter of days, the novel coronavirus has really upended life as we once knew it. And those who work at events and weddings are also really feeling the pinch. Even our very own Erin Conrad was just weeks away from saying I do when she made the tough decision to postpone. That's right, my wedding was supposed to be in just 25 days from now. Now we're working to reschedule our timeline. A lot of things still up in the air, but I'm not the only one. So many brides here in Tulsa and all across green country dealing with the exact same thing during this coronavirus outbreak. But we're not the only ones impacted. It's the vendors, venues, and businesses all associated with the wedding industry. Here I am. In the world of wedding planning, yeah. There are always ups and downs, but nothing like the past six days for Courtney Hayes Jurchik. Been a little bit of a ghost town the last week of phone calls, email inquiries. We usually get about two to three a day. Okay, bye. She and her partner haven't had a single call since last Tuesday. Yet Courtney, owner of the Day of Weddings, is keeping an optimistic outlook. I founded my company on positivity and being a positive ringleader. With the CDC's latest guidelines discouraging all events of more than 50 people and the administration advising people to gather in groups of 10 or less, the weddings and events industry is under tremendous stress right now. There's just a lot of nervousness. Christopher James does wedding videos. His company is called Insight Media Productions and he has half a dozen weddings in April. People are probably being a little bit more cautious with their spending. But James is also optimistic. For my business, most of my weddings, I'm not too sure I'm worried about right now because most of them are in June and July and uh, yeah. September. His side gig is driving for Lyft. I am doubling down in as much work as possible. And he, like Courtney, is trying to stay positive. My personal take is that I know what I signed up for. So the type of work that I put in and the type of work that I do, it has these pitfalls. We're going to start heading in the car, okay? For Courtney, this bizarre new reality comes with a great deal of responsibility to be kind and good to one another. I'm hoping that once we get through this, we are going to realize the value of in-person connections and events. I really believe that the only way to heal our world is to continue to celebrate love and to continue to to marvel in this amazingness that we have found one person we want to spend the rest of our lives with. Erin Conrad, Two Works For You.